the fuck was that? What the hell did I witness from the Leafs these past three games? This was the team that was supposed to win the cup this year. I thought that was what LeafsNet was telling us for the last three months. All the overlooking of the first two fucking rounds of competition because they played in one of the weakest divisions known to man with some of the worst team defense known to man. Blowing a 5-1 to one lead against Ottawa? Being embarrassed by a Canucks unit ravaged by COVID twice doesn't matter, Leafs in three! I don't even know if the Canadians can even win one game! Biased algorithms at the Leafs as heavy favorites for the cup? Every pundit, crazed fan, and masochist out there believed in you! I thought you could win a fucking playoff series for God's sake! But this, ooh, this is a new law. I once thought 2019 was the year Leafs fans were broken. Oh boy, that year has nothing on this one. You thought Boston was bad? Just wait until you get conned upon by your French-speaking brother for the first time in 40 years. And not only that, but to blow a three games to one series lead in a series you were outplaying them. Don't speak a damn thing about Carey Price. Where the fuck did your team go? This is more than losing John Tavares. This is more than losing Jake Muzzin. Where the fuck is the fight? Where the fuck is the tenacity? Where the fuck is the hunger? Where the fuck are Marner and Matthews? Marner's doing a better job of taking delay of game penalties than scoring goals. Where's the depth? Oh, Jumbo Joe and Simmons are good. Better keep putting them out there for that good old veteranosity. A first rounder and two fourths for Nick Foligno. Look at him embrace a bullshit code for an injury that wasn't Corey Perry's fault at all. Grit and sandpaper. The fan base was praising Alex fucking Galchenyuk as a top six contributor. That's not depth, that's desperation. You shit the bed so hard that I, a person that has no rooting interest in the Leafs whatsoever, is living. Every single opportunity given to them has been wasted time and time again. Games five and six were brutal losses, yes, but great teams overcome that adversity. The Leafs aren't a great team. Another game seven where they lie down and die. How many is this now, three in a row? Or if you count game five against Columbus last year? It was one of the most gutless displays I've seen in a good bit. Montreal was cruising past them to Bucks. They had the tenacity. They had the heart. They had the key saves. They played like they had nothing to lose. Where was that from Toronto? 54 years of no Stanley Cup and still there was no drive. That's the new record, by the way. Congratulations. It couldn't have happened to a more useless franchise. I'm going to be completely honest, I have no idea what the Leafs do from here. Boy Wonder has secured everything he has ever desired for the past few years. Elite center, strong two-way defenseman, good goaltending, veteran depth. Yet it's never enough. They fucking choked. Again. With everything catered to their fancy. This issue may be much further into the route than Leafs fans would like to admit. There is no killer instinct on this team. And you know what's gonna happen? The organization is going to fucking panic. They're going to blow up the core. They're going to shed a lot of pieces from this team. They're going to force feed a new identity to a group reeling from perpetual failure. They shouldn't do it, but they probably will. Toronto's going to purge so many faces that it'll make Stalin wince. And I can't say it isn't undeserved. One more thing before you go. I never want to hear another word about how the Leafs are different, they have intangibles, and are surefire cup favorites in a given year ever again. You lost that right with this series. And now all the hockey world is relishing in your suffering. Somewhere in hell, Harold Ballard is dancing on top of a safe from the Carlton cash box. The Leafs and him deserve each other. Every year where they fall flat on their face is another reason why his influence was merely fate. Thank you for this bounty, Montreal. The rest of the hockey world is in your debt. Oh! Oh no! Oh, Dermot. The Leafs gave them one thing, one bloody thing in that overtime, and we're going to Game 7, I honestly can't believe it.